Well, hello Virgo, and welcome to your horoscope. So, we talked a little bit last week about Virgo during Scorpio time. So this is the third house transit. Key phrase, I communicate. Communicating in a way that's constructive. That's what Saturn in the third house is saying. Communicating in a way that's from your heart and brings light to awesome truths. That's what the sun is saying. Communicate with soul. And then communicate with love and beauty and even a sense of seduction. That's what Venus is saying. So that's the kind of combination of energies that's that's really intense in your life. And, you know, you can write stories about this. Any kind of relay of information. I think it's the things that make us the most vulnerable also make us the most endearing and most lovable in some ways. I'm, I'm more into acceptance right where we're at. And, uh, but also encouragement to push the envelope where you get the maximum out of life and your own potential for you, you to help others. So Neptune's in, you know, has been transiting the seventh house. So you're really seeking a spiritual relationship. You're seeking to have a more spiritual attitude towards your relationships to other people. And that's a beautiful thing. Either that or you got a bunch of drinking buddies and, you know, you're just getting sloshed and blotto because there's also that side of Neptune where it's illusion. Uh, you know, Uranus in the, in the eighth, things can be suddenly changed. Um, we're, we're not really going to see Moon in Virgo till the late night next Friday. That'll be next week's horoscope. Um, and, um, you know, just value your spiritual life. Value your friends. Value the communication arts or whatever art or passion you do. 